Mm -hmm. Hey there, fairy friends. So today I'm going to be doing my birthday haul like I told you about um, in my last vlog. So um, I guess we should just get started. I hope I haven't forgot anything. Um, whatever. Um, first of all, I got tons and tons of cards. Um, whee! Cards are always fun. Um, you get most cards with most gifts. One card I will share with you if I can find it. This one is from my little cousins. Um, they picked it out. Their whole present was picked out by a three-year-old and a six-year-old. And I think it's like the sweetest thing ever. I'm going to save that gift for last because it's just, it's adorable. But I have to show you the card. So it's a little holographic image that it moves when you do this. And it says, here's a little birthday tune we put together just for you. And it's just, I think it's really funny. So we're just going to listen to this really briefly. If I can open this. I think it's funny and then on the inside it says hope it's happy and then of course like they have I have this this is the six-year-old signature and then we have the three-year-old signature kind of all the scribbles so I just thought that was really cute just wanted to share that with you um, so those that's cards um, I'm going to start with some friend gifts that I got, um, one of my best friends, she gave me a whole bunch of stuff, I don't have all of it with me, um, I know for a fact I don't have the oven mitts that she gave me, she gave me like an oven mitt, and then like the little oven pad thingies, but she also gave me this cute little like candle holder, shot glass thingy, um, I'm using it to actually hold earrings in, I like things like this for just dumping earrings in and stuff like that, but I think it's cute, it's purple, it's my favorite color, I like the cross on it. There we go. I like the, center. the cross is really pretty. So there is that. And then she also gave me a dream catcher, which I think is totally beautiful. And as soon as I find these little like hook things, I'm gonna hang it above my bed. Um, I think this is gorgeous. I love dream catchers. I've always kind of wanted one. I made one like when I was in third grade or something. And I have no idea where that is. I should look for that. And then she also gave me two nail polishes, we have super sparkly purple nail polish, and just some regular purple nail polish. Um, so I don't know, these have names, probably not, it's just wet and wild nail color. Sometimes, oh wait, no, this is Buffy the Violet Flare, and this one is Quartz of Course, oh how cute. I love nail polishes with funny little names. So, nail polish, yay! Um, unfortunately I can only wear it on my toes, because um, my work won't allow me to have anything but pink, red, or white French tip, which is okay. I can live with that, I think. <laughs> um, like I said, she also gave me a couple other things. She gave me a gift card as well. I don't have that to show you. I'm sorry. So another gift of mine is from actually, oh, things fell. Oh, well, um, my boyfriend's sisters. I'm actually wearing the earrings that they gave me. Super cute little like crystally rhinestone earrings. And then they gave me a bunch of bracelets and what fell were the smaller bracelets that I had with it. They're smaller, kind of like this one, but a whole bunch of bracelets. I love them. Again, purple. You can almost always, why can I not get this center? <laughs> I'm having issues today. Um, almost anything purple is like a go ahead. So there's those. And then they also got me some nail polish. Um, a lighter violety, um, or not violety, lilac -y purple. Does this one have a name? It's called Playdate Cute. Again, I'll have to wear this on my toes. Really great um, purple color. So I think that's it. Oh, well, my boyfriend's parents got me stuff too. They got me a card. They got me a flower, which is kind of dead now because my birthday's been over for like three weeks now. And then some chocolate. If you know me, you know I love chocolate. This is the Lindor chocolates. It's an assorted chocolate truffle bag. So there's dark white and milk chocolate in here. So there is that. Um, and then, uh, uh, I would save this for last, but I already said I was going to save something else for last. This is um, from my boyfriend. It matches the necklace that he gave me for Christmas. So, pretty little pearl bracelet that matches. So. Yay, I got my pearls. Um, so now we're going to go into what my family got me. Um, I have everything sitting over here, so that's why I'm looking that way. Um, I... My family, I gave them a list off of this wonderful, wonderful website called Mod Cloth. 
And so they all got together and got me different items from this list. I'm going to start with what one of my aunts got me. Um, a lot of my family actually went on one item, which was a very expensive item, which I totally understand. So, um, but I'll start with the individual gifts. I got these great sandals. The title on Mod Cloth for these is Outer Bank Sandals. They're actually um, Sun Sand Saltwater Sandals, and I love these. I have a pair in white um, that I bought myself, but for my birthday, I asked for the purple ones. I absolutely love these sandals. They remind me of my childhood. Uh, I put them on. I kind of feel like a kid again. Um, these are just these are like the exact replica of the sandals I used to wear as a child. And I think they're so cute. I, like I said, I have white. Now I have purple to wear. And I think these, they'll go with almost any summer outfit that you have. You know, if you're going to the beach, if you're just going to hang out, they're super comfortable because they're like super flat. As you can see, they're just flat. And they're so comfy. And they're just so cute. You can actually um, get them wet because they're leather. And then, like if you get them wet and like let them dry on your feet, you can uh, like they'll like mold to your feet in a way. So I got those from one of my aunts, and then I got also from her. I have to make sure I have the right bag. I got these really great earrings. Now I love these earrings. Like they're super pretty, super cute. The only thing is, and I mean this doesn't bother me. It's just one of those things where it's like. They're a lot bigger than I expected them to be. If you can see how big they are. Like, this is my fingernail, and that's the, the earring next to my fingernail. It's huge. But they've got little, they're little, like, pearls with roses on them. And, woo. So, um, I think these are really, really pretty. And I'm going to stare at them now. But I thought they'd be a little bit smaller. And then I got them, and I was like, these are huge. But that's okay, I just, it just means I wear one earring at a time in each ear because I do have double piercings. So that was from one of my aunts. My other aunt got me this really great dress. I actually asked for it in red and purple. And of course, when it comes to my family, they know, just go with purple. Um, it's very 50s vintage style. I'm just gonna hold it up. It's got like this cowl neck with all these buttons. I love the way these buttons sound. They're really cool. Um, it's got a cool little like waist, like the waist buttons, and this thing fits amazing. It looks so cute, so adorable. It's not quite vintage 50s. I think I got deodorant on it when I tried it on, <laughs> but it definitely has like a vintagey flair to it, which a lot of mod cloths clothes have, which is why I absolutely love them it's a little better it might look a little better if I held it like that there we go um but I love mod cloth because they have such amazing like vintage feel style kind of outfits so okay um I've got a few more mod cloth things but I'm going to skip those and I'm actually going to go to something one of my aunts got me she went in on that dress that I told you about but she also got me something else it's from Avon it's in a little box it's a watch and again it's if I can get it out it's purple it's got purple on it um, along the band here it's one of those that opens like this it's really cute um, kind of comfortable I tried it on I haven't worn it yet but I tried it on it's really comfortable I really like it so simple little watch there from Avon from my aunt um, but she, like I said, she went in on this dress. And I guess I should show you this dress. I have to unbox it. I forgot I put it back in a box. It needs ironing. Oh, here's the box. Mod cloth. Super cute. Box. Um, mod cloth. Yay. So I'm not affiliated with mod cloth. I'm not promoting them. I'm just ordering stuff off of their website because I think they've got some really awesome, awesome stuff. This dress I'm so excited about. I'm wearing it to my boyfriend's sister's wedding. That's the reason why I wanted it. Um, it was out of stock in my size, and I was really disappointed, but like it came back in stock. So I put on my wish list, I told my family, please, I want this dress. Right before my mom ordered it, it went out of stock. And my mom calls me and she's like, I'm really sorry, we can't get you this dress. And I was like, oh my God, why? And I was really sad. 
And then, you know, I'm thinking, I'm not getting this dress. So on my birthday, I'm opening all these cards and all these people writing in the card, oh, I went in on the dress. I went in on the dress. I'm like, there's no dress. No dress. And then, of course, my grandma was like, okay, there is a dress. We ended up getting it. It came back in stock. And I was like, I'm really sorry I gave you guys a hard time about this. Because I was like giving them a hard time about their procrastination and things like that. So this dress, 50s to the max. Um, I'm going to be wearing it with a petticoat underneath. Like I said, it needs ironing badly. It fits me like a glove. It looks adorable. It's called a more and more dress. And here it is. I'm just going to start here and just pan upward. Maybe I should walk backwards or something. But it, there it is. It comes with a little white belt to wear around the waist. But I am absolutely in love with this dress. It's going to look super duper cute. I, excuse me. I have to find shoes though. I don't really have shoes. And I mean, I guess I could wear like something a little more modern. There's so many strings on it. That's okay. But I wouldn't mind finding a pair of like white, like two inch pumps or something rounded toe-ish. We'll see. But here's this dress. This is like, I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear it. It has got Eiffel Towers on it and little poodle doggies and cafes. I'm so excited to wear this dress. Like, oh gonna be great I'm gonna look so great I'm so so happy I was able to get it because then I was thinking what am I gonna wear to this wedding like I have no idea what I want to wear I was so disappointed I'm like fuck I have to pick something new and ugh. but I ended up getting it and so now I don't have to find something new to wear so there it is the dress it's gonna look fantastic with a petticoat underneath it and I forgot how I fold it to go back in the box so I will fold that and go back in the box later Oh, okay. So my parents also got me a gift. I actually just got their gift, um, but I have to return um, one of the dresses that they got me because it was too big because for some reason I'm like, get this size. And I'm like, this size doesn't even fit. It was big. I will send a link to a picture of that dress. It's beautiful. Again, 50s style era dress. It's purple. I asked for navy and purple, and of course my family got me purple. My mom, I think, is thinking of getting me the navy one as well, but I don't know. But I do have um, a necklace that they asked for. Again, it looks super vintage. I love that. It's Alice in Wonderland. I will hold it up close. But it's a super vintage style looking necklace. I think it's amazing. I love vintage style. Like I love, love, love vintage style. And all Mod Podge really comes in this cute little baggie. Um, yeah. So there's my little Alice necklace. Yeah, vintage Alice. Now, I think that's everything except for ah, the last gift, the one that I was going to save for last that was picked out by a three-year-old and a six-year-old. So I have two cousins. Um, they're three and six, obviously. And so my aunt um, went shopping with them. And they this is not their mother. This is also their aunt as well. Uh, they live with her. So too much information, maybe. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, um, my three-year-old cousin was like, we, want, we gotta get her a puzzle. So, they go to the store, and first she picks out this cute little Disney puzzle. Like, she's like, how about this one? And my aunt's like, no, let's get her something better, like, bigger. And, of course, then they're like, well, what about the ones up there? Because they're the big, like, you know, multi-huge, like, thousand-piece puzzles up at the top. So, my aunt lifts her up, and they're looking at all them, and she's like, this one, this one. And so, they picked one. And this is it. If I can hold it up properly. This is it. And my six-year-old cousin, he agreed on it as well. I think it's beautiful. I cannot wait to put it together. It's a 1,500-piece puzzle. It's going to be 33 by 24.125. Yeah, I have no idea how big that is. It's a large puzzle. It's a grande puzzle. It's a deluxe puzzle, but I think it's a beautiful, beautiful scene. Um, and it was so cute because we're at my house, my parents' house, and my little cousin, she pulls me over. She's like, we got you a puzzle. And I'm thinking, oh, that's so cute. And she like pulls me over towards the presents, and I'm thinking, oh, it's like a puzzle. I have to open it. I didn't know they actually got me a puzzle <laughs> until I opened it. And But it was like all the kids, you know, 
mm, the six-year-old agreed on the puzzle that the three-year-old picked out. You know, they picked the card out, which is what I showed you earlier. I think it is the cutest thing that they were thinking about me. They think they, I mean, and I love it. I think it's going to be great. I'm so excited to do this. Like, it's going to, it's probably going to take me, like, a whole weekend or something, take up the whole table, but... I just thought that was like the cutest story ever and I had to share it with somebody because just she's telling me what she got me and I don't even realize she's actually telling me what she got me and of course it's like well she can't keep a secret I mean she's three but what do you expect so beautiful puzzle um I think that's everything I got this I will link below somewhere my the dress for my parents um and that's it. That's my birthday haul. I have to say it's a pretty good haul, mostly purple items. <laughs> um, but yeah, check me out. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, check out my blog, which is um, the same name as this, Aurora Diana Makeup at blogspot.com. Something like that. And again, if you're watching it on YouTube, subscribe. Um, check me out. Um, because obviously I'm going to be posting videos here and then if you check out my blog though my blog does have pictures and blogs that aren't videos so check that out um, go like my Facebook page Diana Lee Sargent Makeup Artist go like that um, enjoy it hopefully I'll be posting some more things soon I'm just waiting to get some pictures back from my friend who's a photographer she um, she and I did a photo shoot a while back with a couple people, and I'm really excited to put some of those pictures up because they're really fun, really great. Um, but yeah, check out my Facebook page, check out my blog, subscribe. I think that's everything. I got it all covered. Um, hopefully, I'll be getting another um, Everyday Disney on my blog out. This is if you're watching on my blog <laughs> and you follow my Everyday Disney looks. Um, hopefully I'll be getting another one soon. I actually did one. I wore the outfit and then I took it off and didn't take any pictures. And I'm like, what was I thinking? I'm like, mm, I just did this all day for nothing, apparently. I don't know. Anyway, so hopefully I'll have to get, put that outfit back on, take some more pictures, or take some pictures, and then post them. I'm actually thinking of doing some villain days instead of just doing like princesses and things like that I have an idea for some villainy times anyway it doesn't matter so keep an eye out for that if you follow me on my blog follow me on my blog if you don't follow me so exciting you'll love what you see um, you also get to see I don't tag my cousin she tags me but you can go to hers for mine. I don't know. My cousin does a lot of stuff, too. So, um, I think her name generally all around is Magic Cat Jenny. She'll probably comment or post or like this or something. Or you could just search for her. You'll find her, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, this is... I talk way too long. I probably need to shorten these videos because... I'm pretty sure people are like, I'm fucking sick of listening to you talk forever. So I'm going to shut up now. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all fairy friends later. And have a good day.